If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi friends, Chrome Dev Summit 2018 is just got over. So it is an annual event uh, from uh, Google for the developers where they announce a lot of uh, new features, performance, standards, practices uh, for the uh, Google Chrome. So you can watch online all the events, uh, all the pep talks, uh, keynotes in the YouTube channel. So it has around some, uh, I think, 8 to uh, 12 sessions. So I've been uh, watching those uh, events uh, live and uh, it was pretty much informative uh, for the performance testers and engineers. So the core, uh, the, the key takeaways, uh, what I uh, saw from the uh, summit is uh, there are a lot of uh, performance standards they introduce on the new features, the next gen uh, uh, web performance basically. So one of the important uh, tool they have released uh, during the summit is uh, web.dev. So this web.dev, it's from the Google where you can learn and measure your website performance. So what I did, I submitted this web.dev to uh, Product Hunt. So Product Hunt is a, a place where you can uh, submit the apps uh, and products uh, and people uh, uh, from the Product Hunt community, they will be able to upvote if they like it. Uh, so luckily, uh, my submission web dot uh, dev uh, got the uh, first spot uh, on November thirteenth. As you see, it says uh, number number one product of the day, uh, number thirteenth. And if you scroll down, you can see about this uh, some screenshots and some uh, information about the tool. Also, you can see my name here, uh, Hunter, uh, and also the makers of the uh, web dot dev. So in this video, we are going to see how web.dev is will be useful for performance testers and engineers. So Google has uh, uh, lucky enough to get this uh, domain name web.dev. So it's very short and you can easily remember. And whenever you launch this web.dev, uh, you'll be able to sign in using the Google account. So right now I have signed in already. Uh, if you're not signed in, uh, you'll get a button uh, sign in. And uh, here you can see uh, the, uh, uh, the there are uh, two uh, links available. Um, one is to learn and one is to measure. So uh, and also in the uh, home page, you can see there is a button uh, to test my site and also start learning. So if you scroll down, you can see there are a lot of uh, learning parts available. Right now, uh, there are one, uh, five, but there are totally six. Uh, one is uh, coming soon, accessible to all. But others, uh, these sections are available to read and also you can implement in your uh, project. Okay, what's in it for us as a performance tester and engineer? What is there in web.dev? As you see in the screen, there are two options available. One is to test your site and one is to learn. So first you have to measure your website performance and then you need to take uh, steps to how to improve your uh, performance. So right now this test my site is not working. Um, the team is already uh, uh, working on it and you can see uh, it is in beta version. It is not a, a final uh, product. And also you can uh, check this link for the status update. So if you give a uh, say my website so i want to measure the performance so what i can do is i can enter my uh, url and then i have to hit the run audit but right now uh, it is not working and it will give you the uh, score in based on four uh, parameters performance accessibility best practices and uh, seo and if you scroll down you can see what the uh, parameters it's got evaluated and uh, you can also see the legend here, the score legend. So 0 to 49 is red, 50 to 89 is uh, orange, and 90 to 100 is uh, green color. And so right now it is not working. Probably once it is up and running, I can uh, uh, produce a video about uh, how to use this tool. Uh, but in the measure section, uh, definitely you can learn about these stuffs, faster load times, network resilience, 
uh, safe and secure, easily discoverable, installable, and accessible to all. For example, if you want to learn fast load times, so just click on uh, explore, and here you can see the, the subsections how you can measure your site performance, how you can optimize the images, how you can optimize the JavaScript, how you can optimize the uh, fonts, uh, measuring performance in the field, and enforcing the performance budgets. So these are some six uh, uh, chapters, we can say, or sections where you can learn about the uh, stuffs. And we, the, the, each section has a lot of information with screenshots. So definitely it is a must for performance testers to go through all the chapters uh, in the web.dev. So anyway, it is for free. Only you need to spend some ample time and focus on the concepts. So once this site is up and running, I can definitely put a demo about how you can measure your website performance and how you can take access uh, measurable uh, steps so that your performance of your website is uh, top notch. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.